Hey everybody, this is Z-Dog. Welcome to the channel. If I can, before we start, can I get you to like and to subscribe to this channel to help this channel grow? Please leave a comment in the comment section to help me understand what kind of content you would like me to post. Um, so today we're going to discuss something that is probably on everybody's mind. They, um, we're going to discuss how to decorate your photo now when you're going into like video uh, when you're going into like um, matches and you see the photos of people you're going up with your team or the opponent and you see that they got accomplishments on the photo and a banner at the top of their photo I'm going to show you how to get those today so first we want to go over here to your photo we're going to go up here top to the left where you see mine says z dog in my photo we're just going to tap on the photo and then we're going to tap on basic and then we're going to tap on the photo again let's back out of that for a minute look at my banner as it sits right now you see at the top right hand corner i got what looks like a, a shield with wings and then I got a, a red emblem, a red shield over there it looks like a badge that's what we're going to talk about today that's okay tap back on your photo and we're going to go over here to icon okay now this is really really simple most people probably don't even know this is here a lot of people don't look at their own personal profile but it's actually important to set your profile up because believe it or not some of the best players will look at your profile to see your accomplishments and if you don't have your accomplishments set up for other people to look at to see how good you play you're probably not going to play with some of the best and if you play with the best you will get better because they will challenge you to be better. I promise you that. And I play with some really, really good players. And they're better than me. I'm okay. But these guys are some kick-butt guys. I play with some women out there that do better than the guys. I'm not, I'm not, gonna, t I'm not gonna tell you a lie on that. I've had some hand me my own, my own hands, you know. It's like they've handed me a, a good game showed me up good okay so this right here it's really simple go over here to the right you got these boxes down here you got one you see I'm lighting them up so however you got this set in order is how it's going to work now I don't know much about the legendary characters and things like that. I have legendary characters, but the problem with it is, is I don't, I'm not familiar with them. Okay, um, I'm guessing that the legendary characters are probably the characters that come with the legendary guns. Now, I do have a legendary character, believe it or not, but I don't know why it's not allowed. You gotta have like seven of them, I guess, in order for these to unlock. You gotta have a certain number. You can see, I got six out of seven, but I got a number of these. But what you do is you just tap on the one that you want to be first, and then you put it right over there in this box. And then generally it says in the middle, I can remove it or I can confirm to put it back on. And then you go over to the next box. And that's how you can remove it or you can put it back on now if you got this one right here you would want one of these in the multiplayer honorable legendary now I personally think that the multiplayer legendary is extremely difficult 
It is so much harder than playing Battle Royale. It really is. You have to have some kind of skill to be in multiplayer. Because there's guys in there slipping and sliding with shotguns. Just like they are in Battle Royale. And they're using, they will match you with people that are using external devices. If, if you're one of those guys, just like me, that are using your thumbs, they're going to match you with people that are using external devices that's going to give them some kind of boost that makes it seem like a handicapped person is going up against somebody that's not handicapped. That's literally the truth. I mean, you're, you're asking a guy in a wheelchair to run a marathon with somebody that's got two good legs. You know, that's, that's how this is working. So, multiplayer legendary is so difficult to get. Mythic weapons completionist. This will probably take you a while. I know a person who has spent thousands of dollars upgrading each and every one of their guns that they've gotten. Legendary character completionist. This is just to upgrade the character that comes with your legendary person. That comes with the guns. Mythic character completionist now I don't know I personally should have all of this but I'm gonna go back through and take a look because I've got like 70 characters so I should really have one of these a prestige weapons completionist Not sure what that is, but we're going to have to take a look at that eventually. But any one of those you could put in the third box, or you put them in order however you want. But this will always show up right here at the top on the right hand corner. Now, when you go into the game, it'll be at the bottom. Now, as for the banner that goes across the top, this is where that gets a little tricky. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go over here to where it says your rank. If you're if you're not in a clan, you could join mine. Join my clan. Literally, this is the clan. Five Kings, five. You got to spell it out just like that, all capital letter. You could join mine. We're looking for a few good men. But anyway. And I am also a vice master. So, if you want this banner that goes up that's highly decorated, I will show you whenever you complete your ranking. At the end of each week, you'll have a set of uh, things you got to go through. You got to go in, play your clan wars. You got to win a certain number of trophies. Your whole clan, not just you. And then at the end of the week, you get rewarded. It says previous week reward base. This is your reward. You've gotten so many nodes. And then you get a rank up, and then you get treasure box. And then at the bottom, look at the bottom. This is me, the five kings. And you go over here to the right. And then you see that purple box? That purple box, after you've reached a certain number that you're supposed to reach, you will actually achieve it. When you hit 11,000, you will receive this banner. And that banner will be given to you at the end of the week with your clan rewards. 
and then you can post it to your it, well actually you don't get to post it it will automatically show up on the top of your photo so that's pretty much how that works guys it's really simple actually but if you want to join a clan I'm telling you right now we are level 7 uh, they were level 6 but we are level 7 and we are ranking up fast um, we have some of the best players um, there are players that are better than us but to get into those groups you've got to be top of the top but I'm telling you if you want to join the clan join the clan I showed you this is the clan there is no request needed just join so please come join us um until next time guys this is z dog